It's not fun to be aroused all the time. Would you want to have a raging boner 24 seven? I don't think so. It's just nonstop. PJD is persistent genital arousal disorder. It feels like you're about to orgasm and then it never goes away. So it's sharp pains all the way through your legs, all the way through your pelvic. It's just nonstop. 23 year old Amanda was diagnosed with persistent genital arousal disorder, or PGAD, in 2013. For years, neither she nor her mother Victoria knew what was wrong with her. When I was like 13, 14 is when it first started noticing there was something wrong. No one ever believed me. I kept saying like, I need to have sex, I need to orgasm. Like when I was 15 to 18 stage, I, like I masturbated way more than a normal teenager would. I first noticed that something was wrong with Amanda. When she first became sexually active, she was having sex a lot. I didn't know what it was. My whole family thought that she was just a whore. Everyone thought that it was just like a sex addiction. If I could go the rest of my life without having orgasm, I would, that's fine. Honestly, back then, I was frustrated because I started to think that she was just a hypochondriac. It, I doubted her completely. I still feel guilty. Sorry. Your child is telling you that they're pain and the doctor's telling you that basically it's nothing. And I believe the doctor over my daughter. Some days I'm do I do okay and then some days I don't want to be around anyone. I don't want anyone to look at me. I don't usually leave my house as is, but I mean, I don't even want to be on social media. I don't want to do anything. It, it was a huge relief when we found out that it was PJD because then there was something. There was validation that she's not lying, that she's not making all this stuff up, that she's not a whore, that she's not a sex addict. At home, Amanda now has the support of her fiance Jojo. The pair met a year ago and have been inseparable ever since. He takes care of me on days that I can't move, on days that I'm like having full on panic attacks because how much pain I'm in. Relationships are very hard to keep. And with this problem, he never once has judged me. He never made me feel bad about not working or anything like that. When they say love at first sight, it really was. When she first told me, I didn't know how to feel about it, but I liked her, so I was prepared to basically jump in. The more I could learn, the more I can help her. I'll go with her to every appointment, injections. I'll help her so she gets anything she needs. It affects our sex life quite tremendously, actually. Um, you would think that you would just have sex and it would go away. It doesn't. And sometimes I will literally be crying, begging him just to have sex with me, just to relieve some of the pressure that I have down there. And so when you're begging your man for sex, it's. It's kind of difficult because then it makes you feel like crap, like, oh, why don't you want me? Even though you know that's not what it is. I told her, I was like, I don't want sex to feel like a chore. I want it to be something special, which is why we kind of cut back on it. I sit on an ice pack. Sometimes ice doesn't help though, so then I have to go to the heating pad. And then sometimes the heating pad doesn't help, so I have to go back to ice. Um, I have ice inserts that I can stick inside me to help with swelling. Dr. Gupta at Michigan University is treating Amanda, who now takes 30 different medications to try and ease her pain. Because it's such a rare diagnosis and there's been so little research, we don't know exactly what causes it. We suspect that it's um, multifactorial from you know, several different issues. Amanda and I have talked some about the fact that um, I don't have kind of a quick cure to this, but that we're gonna, going to be trying a few different therapies. I just wish the name was different because the arousal disorder part makes it sound like you're aroused, like, oh yeah, that's awesome. It's really not fun at all. I don't know if we have a cure yet, but I definitely think that we have not exhausted our treatment options. I'm very hopeful that we can get Amanda better and get her functioning better. 
my whole life would be different if I didn't have this problem. If I wasn't in pain all the time, I might be able to work, I might be able to drive. I, I want kids in the future. My whole life would be different. I know I would be happier.